Lilford Primary School is a successful one form entry primary school um, and we are due to expand to two form entry over the next couple of years. It was clear when I arrived about 18 months ago that the computing infrastructure was not sufficient to meet the needs of this expansion or indeed the requirements of the national curriculum moving to the future. I was invited last year to attend um, the LGFL conference and that was a real eye-opener for me. It really gave me good insight as to what was possible um, with the right infrastructure and the right curriculum resources to really allow our children to develop computing skills that will meet the needs of their future careers and lives. It was very important to both me and the governors that any new service we were going to adopt would give us really good value for money. And we took this opportunity to really scour the marketplace to see what would give us the very best opportunities for the best value and it was really clear that not only with the super fast broadband but all the additional educational resources that London Grid from Learning was absolutely going to give us the best value and the best opportunity. As part of our strategic development plan there was a recognition that we needed to improve the connectivity in the school and the introduction of a fibre connection through LGFL will massively improve our um, opportunities for learning but our current infrastructure was insufficient to actually be able to make the best use of that fibre connection. So as a school we've taken this opportunity to invest in better Wi-Fi inf infrastructure so that we can ensure that all of the children have access to these great resources throughout the school throughout the day. One of the key messages I took away from the conference that LGFL was so much more than the technical aspects. There was a huge amount of support where they will be able to guide us through developing the right infrastructure to meet our computing strategy for the future. But it was also the amazing curriculum resources and the opportunities that that will give to both teachers and children to really meet the needs of the young people as they move forward into the future. Throughout our journey in joining the NGFL community, I've been really impressed with the fantastic support we've had throughout the onboarding process. It's given me every confidence that our children will be absolutely safe and secure when they're working online within our school, making the most of all of these opportunities that we're going to get from the curriculum resources and the super fast fibre. When my family moved out of London, um, I moved to a, a North Essex school and I really miss being able to use the um, LGFL resources um, as a planning tool and a go-to tool for my daily practice. In my current role as Deputy Head, um, with responsibility for teaching and learning across the school, we have just embarked on a journey of re-planning our curriculum. We're really excited to be joining the LGFL community and having the opportunity to look at the resources and map them across our, our new curriculum to really enhance the children's learning and make those cross-curricular links into our new schemes of work. The breadth of the curriculum resources is just phenomenal. There are opportunities for the teachers to be able to bring experts directly into the classroom, which is going to really enhance the learning opportunities for all our children, but especially those children who are more disadvantaged and are less likely to be taken to see historical sites. Staff are really excited to think about how they can adapt their planning to maximise what is now going to be on offer to us, which hadn't previously, and particularly with the use of AR and VR. The opportunity to support children with additional needs or look at wellbeing resources or online internet safety resources, all of those are really excellently presented and really engaging for the children and easy for the staff to be able to deliver the content to the children in a way that they would never have been able to do in the past. The subject specific resources are also far beyond anything we have at the moment. The ability for children to explore the Tudors in London or ancient Egypt gives us so many opportunities to look at how we can move our curriculum forward to make sure that it's really using the cutting edge resources and technology to the very best. So the LGFL portal has given me a variety of ways that I can still increase my CPD, but it also brings my teaching up to date with keeping the children engaged and it brings it forward to the digital era. And I'm really excited to see just how much my children are going to improve from the techniques and the opportunities that this is going to provide. It's really 
really interesting to see how the um, portfolio of resources has changed over the last few years, um, particularly the way the technology has moved on and the way it's incorporating AR and VR into many of the um, history and geography resources in particular. At a previous Essex school, I was able to use some VR and AR technology into the ancient Egyptian project that I was doing. Really enhance the children's understanding and enjoyment of the project, um, particularly as we weren't actually able to do a trip that term, and it really brought to life some of the key concepts that I was trying to bring over um, to the children in that topic. So at this term, my topic is space, and I've already planned the unit. I've got videos at my disposal, I have textbooks, I have the ability to use the iPads to research it. However, I'm still lacking away to teach the more abstract concepts that my children just do not understand. However, I've seen there's a virtual reality section where I can get the children to virtually walk on the moon. Now that's something I just don't have access to without LGFL learning resources. We're really looking forward to being a part of the LGFL community and collaborating with schools close to us in North Essex that have joined the National Grid for Learning. We already work in our local area with other teachers, but this is going to give us an opportunity for me and my staff to go to conferences and training and really explore what is best practice, not just in our local area, but throughout the country. So we can really ensure that we're delivering the absolute best curriculum for all of our children.